Bulldogs team looking to get back in the win column. And they can't buy one from the outside. Sheldon stripped away the rebound. Hudson with numbers, puts his head down and scores. The many unorthodox ways Hudson Sheldon can get that ball in the hoop is just incredible. He's got nine. Swanson connects. And that stops the run. Brady Swanson, the younger brother of a great Bismarck demon, and Gunnar Swanson taking his turn in the rotation. Sheldon back to work. Spinning free. Nearly tied up. Stays with it. And he is unstoppable right now. Austin can't answer. Luke Doctor, the board, poked free. A steal for Riley Bearstail. Making his season debut. Dishes to his twin. And Briley airmail the layup. Missed opportunity there for the Braves. Back comes Austin. Wasting no time here. Swanson got another. Six quick ones for Brady Swanson. Met and walk. Corner three. Drops in, and we're tied. Riley Bears tail, his first bucket of the year. Great drive, perfect pass out there to set up a shooter. Austin spins, had it tipped, followed up, and he'll shoot two. Well, Coach Schaefer spent those two early timeouts. It was a gamble, and it seems to have paid off as his team has found their footing. Well, that possession there is a huge reason, kind of a microcosm of why Mandan not only is back in the game, but they're winning the games and after that tough start because they've amped up their defense. They've scored the last six. Brown Otter hits a three. What a pass by Sheldon. My goodness. Hudson's third assist. Demons on the wrong end of a 9-0 run as Austin earns the contact. And boy. Meanwhile, the Braves are starting to find their shots. Bears tail rings the bell, and it's a 10-point game. Timeout Demons as Mandan has hit a flurry of threes in half number two. Rebound Quinn Hafner, but a steal for Hudson Sheldon. Jammed home. Thirteen points is the Mandan lead. Single digits with 6.20 to play. Sheldon draws a foul. And that is Schaefer's fifth. Looks on faces tell the story. And yeah, that is, that's tough that he's got to come out of this game at a point where all of a sudden it's a single digit contest and they need his presence in there. I see maybe Demons can rally around it, but again, the Braves' game plan. They, they want to go with Schaefer. They, it was a game plan from the beginning, you could tell. There's Jordan Wilhelm playing the role of therapist on the bench as Schaefer vents his frustrations on a day where things just didn't go his way. Hanky harasses Peel. Five to shoot. Sheldon, extra pass. Three ball. Off. Short. Brown Otter saves the ball into Peel. He made Meshke dodge it. Brown Otter. Can't hit. That was a huge stop for Bismarck. Austin to the rack, and it's a five-point game. Recognizing the lane, smart play. He knew the help was going to be late coming over. And LaMare just picked up foul number four. Austin took it away. Another steal. The Demons can tie it. Austin. Charge taken. That's Medenwald.
with four fouls, Medenwald with a gutsy play. Yeah, it was a charge. He's set. Smart play by Medenwald. And so now, the Mandan press break, which has been smooth all day, gets a little more difficult when the pressure's on like this. Timeout, Brandon Schaefer. His Braves led by 16 once upon a time. Chris, that lead has been trimmed to three. This is Brown Otter's moment, a chance to put his team up by four. Got it. And the Braves are able to breathe for a second. Must score possession. Austin pulls up. Had the shot tipped, rebound to Scott, laid in, and a timeout Jordan Wilhelm with only half a second to play. Sheldon is all the way off your screen. Austin running with him. The pass tipped by Eagle Staff. And that's it. The time expired before Austin could get there. And by the hair on their chinny chin chin, the Braves escape Carl Gar Gymnasium for the win.